Hey y'all, welcome to Intunology with Zen Jen. On today's episode, I am here to talk about the cosmic energy of March 2021. March is an indicator for astrology that this is soon to be a start of a new astrological year. This occurs when the sun moves into Aries. Aries is therefore the first sign of the zodiac. The energy this month is definitely engaging us to be involved and occupied in or even absorbed in our passions. We are about to accomplish all the tasks. This energy is about moving forward. The astrological new year is definitely a big highlight of March. This indicates a brand new cycle in the vast cosmic journey. This in our realm indicates our shift into spring. In March, all of the major planets are direct or they are on their way to being so. This indicates our energy is full speed ahead. It's time to leave that shit in the past, okay? Let go of the baggage that's been weighing you down. Step into this 2021 energy because it is finally here for us. This is the month to plant any seeds that you may want to bloom soon in the future of your life. Set your intentions, write it all down, plan it all out in detail. How do you want this next 12 month cycle to go for you? Plan it all out. Now it's time in the episode where I will go over the key dates of March. So starting out, we have March 3rd. Mars moves into Pisces. Mars is passionate and motivated and this fiery energy is here. It's a good time to share what inspires you and any creative outlets that you may have. Perform, create, and express you. March 4th, Mercury conjuncts Jupiter. This is enhancing that self-expressive vibe going on here. Definitely you should be sharing your creativity this day and the day before. Self-expression is kind of the way that we need to communicate. That will be key for this month. The beginning of March is also a good time overall for sharing your creative endeavors. And also this conjunction is typically a good time to learn something new or to take a vacation and explore. On March 10th, we have the Sun conjuncting Neptune. This is where the magic really begins this month. Neptune rules Pisces. This is kind of signaling to us dreamy subconscious vibes, creative psychic vibes, emotional intuitive vibes. Vibes! <laughs> The Sun and Neptune are in Pisces, which amplifies these vibes, for real. On this day, look for any synchronization and messages from your guides or the universe. On March 13th, we have a new moon in Pisces and Venus conjuncting Neptune. So the magic basically continues. This is the first new moon of the astrological year. So clarity is definitely going to be coming our way, uh, mainly around love, relations, and money. So just tap into that creative imagination that we have and your dreams and desires. Because once you receive the clarity, you can become crystal clear on literally where you want to go and therefore manifest just that. On March 15th, Mercury enters Pisces. Lots of Pisces energy we got going on. This one though is not particularly a good match. This energy is a little scatter mind, you know, all over the place. So you may be clouded in your mind or maybe unsure of where to go next. But this just means you need to shift from your mind to your heart center. Mercury will leave Pisces on April 5th. 
on March 20th, the climax of March, we have the spring equinox, the astrological new year, and the sun is in Aries. Holy cannoli, right? 2021 energy is finally engaged. This is the day of equal day and night. We are actually tipping the scale towards more light in the northern hemisphere. So spring has sprung and the veil between the dimensions is thin. Any rituals or energy work during this time is amplified. So it's time to just get ready for this new chapter because a new 12 month astrological cycle is underway. On March 21st, Mars is oob. <laughs> oob means out of bounds, right? O-O-B. This is a new term for me even. I'm learning. Woo! Anyways, out of bounds, oob means when a planet exceeds 23 degrees for more than 27 minutes, north or south of the equator. So basically planets, oob, have documented to behave in outstanding manners, kind of showing this extreme or abnormal behavior. Well, Mars is the planet of passion and motivation, like I said earlier. So during this time, we may feel inspired to go above and beyond and conquer our fears. Or if something is blocking us, we may be ready to move around that. Just make sure to watch out for overdoing it. That slow and steady theme of consistency will win the race. Mars will remain oob until May 24th. On March 25th, the Sun conjuncts Venus. This is wonderful, harmonious energy. So the good vibes continue after the oob, right? Venus is all about beauty and self-love. So this will be a good day for shopping sprees, spring cleaning, coloring your hair, changing up your look, or any bodily maintenance for this vessel. On March 28th, last but not least, we have a full moon in Libra and Venus conjuncting Chiron. This full moon is deeply healing because of Chiron's influence. Chiron is the wounded healer. So this is an asteroid. It takes our wounds and literally transforms our vibration, healing us. Okay, so use this full moon as your guide if you need any healing. The light of it will literally illuminate any wounds to help heal them. And then it gives us strength mainly around love, relations, and money like I was talking about. This is all about finding the balance in divine feminine and masculine energy. So that is all I have for March astrology events. It's definitely a big month in astrology. I do know the beginning of this year was much more jam-packed with stuff rather than the end of this year. So expect the energy to be settling down soon towards the middle of the year. I will actually be MIA for a little while. Um, I'm currently in the process of turning my living space into a Zen Den office for my new LLC I've started up doing Reiki and card reading, dream interpretation, art, a whole bunch of stuff. I just started it up, so if you don't hear from me, know that I'm starting this new adventure, and I'm very excited to share it with all of you once I am done. So just make sure to follow me on social media. I will keep that updated as I go along. I will actually link my link tree in the description below if you want to get up close and personal to the renovation. Anyways, I do wish you the best March possible. Follow these dreamy, creative Pisces vibes and let your heart do the talking and just let loose a little bit. You never know what will come through you if you allow it. Thank you so much for watching. It is always much appreciated. I will be back before you know it. And Zen Jen out.